So I've just arrived in Ireland and I'm so excited because I absolutely love the people here and the culture, but most of all, I really love their food. Really good. Really good. Really good. Very, very good. It's really good. Pretty good. Really good. Oh God, this is good. It's actually, but good. I'm not gonna keep saying it's all so good because it's all so good. I'm just just assume that's what's going on in my mind. Well, on this trip, I want to show you my three favorite ways to experiencing Irish food, starting with a quick bite at St. George's Market right here in Belfast. Then we're going to slow it down a little bit, go to a Michelin star restaurant with one of my favorite chefs. And finally, we're going to try something a little bit outside the box with a local dish called black pudding. Uh, but right now I'm starving, so let's get started. Belfast is home to St. George's Market, which dates all the way back to the 1700s, making one of the oldest and last remaining Victorian markets in Northern Ireland. Today, it's home to nearly 300 vendors, including crafters, musicians, and foodies from all over the world, and has been named one of the best markets in Ireland. We'll be having that for dinner tonight. But most importantly, it's a popular local spot, and if, like me, you don't have a ton of time, it's a great way to meet the community and grab a quick bite on the go. That was very, very good. When it comes to picking the right dish, there is no shortage of options. With vendors representing food from all over the world while still utilizing local ingredients, almost every option has a taste of Ireland with an international twist. After I finally settled on the most colorful meal I could find and topping it off with a crepe, or two or three, it was time for me and my counterpart and cameraman Blaze to hit the road. This is Blaze, by the way, and yes, that is the actual name his mother gave him at birth. Galway is best known as a city full of music, art, and great food. Located right in the heart of the city is one of only 11 Michelin star restaurants in all of Ireland, Chef J.P. McMahon's A Near Restaurant. Aside from being one of the best in the world, Chef J.P. McMahon is known for his dedication to using only locally sourced ingredients found right in his own backyard. Even the plates and cups in the restaurant are made and sold at the local market. They're great cups too. I even bought one for my mom. And then I totally kept it for myself. Sorry, mom. So, our first order of business was a quick walk down to the market to check out the catch of the day. The chef is a man of passion, and even in rainy conditions in the market, he managed to whip up a five-star amuse-bouche for the passers-by. I was impressed, and jealous. I only got one, which I'm pretty sure I shamelessly stole from a child. It was delicious, and I don't regret it one bit. After a quick, totally casual demo at the market, we returned to the kitchen to get down to business, where a chef explained how each dish's ingredients were caught, forged, or picked before landing on the plate in front of me. The key is that we have really, really beautiful natural products, and, uh, and so it's, it's about how little can we do with them to kind of, so they will remain uh, almost in a pure state, so that when you come in and taste it, like the langoustine we did earlier on, is that when you taste it, you go, oh, that really tastes like a langoustine. It's really, really beautiful. From farm to fork, there is not a single ingredient that lands on your plate that isn't native to Ireland. This food is truly Irish in the purest sense of the word. can't describe all the amazing things that are happening inside my mouth right now. But if this is what Ireland tastes like, Ireland's delicious. The food from Anir is a great example of how modern food has really evolved in Ireland. But for our final meal, I wanted to try something a little different and go all the way back to the early 1800s to check out one of the island's oldest and most traditional foods, black pudding. Black pudding first emerged over 200 years ago in some of the most royal parts of the country. Best known as a staple of the Irish breakfast, more recently it's being used in innovative dishes and recipes all over Ireland. To really dive in, we figured we'd go to Clonakilty in West Cork, a town synonymous with local food and black pudding. If anyone knows this stuff well, it's Colette, the owner and co-founder of the Clonakilty Food Company. Colette and her husband first started this company in 1976 in a small butcher shop in town. With the purchase of that shop came a secret family recipe for black pudding. Out of that shop, and with a now famous secret recipe, the couple went on to become one of the largest producers of black pudding in the world. So what is black pudding anyway? The ingredients are obviously like uh, blood and uh, onion, peanut oatmeal, and uh, beef meat. Uh, and of course the uh, secret spices. Uh, only Colette knows. And only Colette knows it. Nobody else. <laughs> no chance. The original black pudding recipe is the same one that we use today. I mix the spice and, I, and at the moment I'm the only person who knows the um, mixture of the, um, the spice. So yeah, there you have it. Black pudding is actually more like mm, blood sausage. But before you judge it, you should try it on pizza. Yep, pizza. 
Since this stuff has more or less put Colin Kilty on the map, the town itself has found more than a few creative ways to serve it up. And since I literally cannot say no to free food, I was more than willing to go on a black pudding culinary tour, starting with pizza. After downing half a pie, we stopped by easily the best restaurant in town, Richie's, where the man himself whipped me up black pudding with scallops. If the pizza hadn't done it already, this combo would have sealed the deal. I was very skeptical um, and kind of assumed this would be my least favorite dish and I can confidently say that scallops and black pudding is hands down the best way I've ever had scallops before. It's delicious and I love scallops. This is my favorite for sure. Where's Colette? I need your secret recipe. With our tour de food of Ireland coming to a close, there was really only one way to wrap up our trip. Naturally, with a pint of Guinness at one of the oldest pubs in town. So here's to the quick, the slow, and the adventurous food of Ireland. It's a lot more than meat and potatoes. Till next time, cheers and schlancha.